In this video, we learn about the hypergeometric distribution and compare it to the binomial distribution. So imagine that you're friends with Snow White and you're over at her house when her stepmother drops by with 40 apples and 20% of these apples are poison. Uh, you and Snow White randomly select four of these apples and make a pie. What's the probability that your pie has no poisoned apples? Okay, so it may be tempting to use the binomial here, but that would actually be wrong. Let's think about why. So for a binomial, we have independent identical trials. And here, we are sampling these apples without replacement. So in other words, we choose an apple for the pie, and it will go into the pie. And when we choose the next apple, now the proportion of apples that are poisoned has changed because we have removed one of these apples. So we don't have uh, identical trials anymore. All right, so we're not putting the apples back, so that makes things a little bit different. And now we're going to use this to introduce the hypergeometric distribution. So hypergeometric is when you'll be sampling without replacement. OK, so if we want to know generally what's the probability that we have k poisoned apples in our pie, which remember the pie has four of these apples, um, the probability x is equal to k. Well, we can just go back to our combinatorial probability from a few videos ago. Um, so in the denominator, we have the total number of ways we can choose four apples out of 40. And then here we have the number of ways we could choose k poisoned apples out of the eight poisoned apples in this pile of apples that Snow White's stepmother has delivered. And then if we have k poisoned apples, that means we have n minus k apples that are not poisoned, and 32 of the apples in the delivery were not poisoned. So we have 8 choose k times 32, ch 32 choose n minus k. So this is going to be good for k equals 0 poisoned apples all the way up to 8 poisoned apples. All right, so that's going to be our general form. But we are wondering, what's the probability that we are going to have 0 poisoned apples in our pie? So. That means we're looking for the probability x equals 0. So k is 0. So we have 8 poisoned apples. We're choosing 0 of them to be in our pie. We have 32 safe apples, and we're choosing 4 of them to be in our pie. So up in the numerator, we have uh, 32 choose 4 times 8 choose 0. And then um, in the denominator, we have the total number of ways that we could choose 4 apples out of 40, and that's 40 choose 4. So again, it's really important when you're looking at a probability problem to think about, are these trials independent? Or another way, another question you could ask yourself is, am I sampling with replacement or without replacement? Because if you're sampling with replacement, or in other words, putting them back after every draw, then you can use the binomial generally. And if you're sampling without replacement, like in this Snow White example, then you need to use the hypergeometric. 